Hi everybody, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Ara, and today I'm putting miniatures on my fingernails. But first, a disclaimer. This is not a nail art channel, so I'm just making this up as I go along, like most things I do. If you really want to know how to do your nails, there's lots of nail art channels out there that have better information than I do. So just a few weeks ago, I got this machine. It's a little LED nail cooker thing. It works with gel nail polish. I've been watching some YouTube channels, and there's some YouTubers who've put some pretty weird things on their nails, but I've never seen one where they put miniatures on their nails. And seeing as I'm a miniature channel, I thought, that's just weird enough to make a good YouTube video. So I went to Hobby Lobby, got some cheap little miniatures that I don't care about because they're probably going to get ruined. I am going to be attempting to put these on one of my hands because I'm not crazy. And um, so yeah, let's see if this works or not. So I'm not going to give you the play-by-play -play of this craziness, but I am going to give you a general overview of the steps I went through to get these miniatures onto my nails. So I started out with a peel off base coat because yeah, I don't want these stuck to my nails for a long time. <laughs> and if you're using gel nail polish, it sticks really well. You have to put it in acetone to get it off. And I also did not want to stick my fingers in acetone with a bunch of miniatures. I didn't know what they were made out of. That could just be bad. So I started off with a peel off base coat. And then I decided that each finger would have a different gel coat polish color. And so the first nail I used a teal gel polish and I just put a flat coat on there. And I decided to use the gel top coat which um, I had to get through the mail. It's not easy to find in the stores. Um, I used that kind of as a glue because when you put it down it gets really sticky. but it doesn't dry until you put it into the little machine. So I would put a glob down, I would stick the miniature down, and then I would put it into the machine for about a minute and let that, um, I guess it's called cure. <laughs> I kept saying cook, um, but really it's just the light is curing it. So I would do that and then I would put the next piece on and I would just go piece by piece putting down a glob and then getting the miniature on there and letting it cook. And then after I had gotten all the miniatures onto my nail, I put one last coat over the top of the miniatures or anywhere I think that it might need a little bit more support or glue. It was actually really fun trying to figure out ways to get the stuff to fit on my nails because even though miniatures are small, they're, most of them are not smaller than my fingernails. So that was interesting. Uh, this wouldn't be a very wearable thing, I would think. It was very not comfortable on my nails while I was trying to work on um, other nails. But it could be a really fun party thing to do. I don't know if you're a miniaturist and you're going to a miniature show or a miniatures convention. Um, my favorite one ended up being this thumbnail with the lollipops on it. That one is probably the most wearable one. It could be cute to do like my all my nails red and just do the lollipops on the thumb. I think I could survive with just the lollipops on my thumb. Anyway, it turned out really fun. Um, it was a fun idea. It was a little quirky, but I don't know. Why, why not, you know? <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little bit out of the norm. I know I usually do miniature tutorials. I will get back to that next week, don't worry. Um, this was just a fun, weird idea that I had that I thought I'd share with everyone. Oh, and the peel off base coat was awesome because as you can see, I can just pop these things off and this could be a cool thing to do because um, if you didn't want to wear them at night, you could just pop them off and then glue them on the next day if you wanted to, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you have any ideas as far as ways that you could use this in miniatures, like the gel polish, the peel off base coat, is there any way that that could be used in miniatures? I don't know. I've been thinking about it after doing this. Um, there's some interesting products in nail art that I think could work to our advantage in miniatures. 
So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like or a comment below if you have any thoughts, ideas, tell me I'm crazy, or tell me what you're going to try out. Um, who knows, in the future of my videos, I may have some nail art surprises now that I've done this. I don't know. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.